This is one of those disappointing moments where a company clearly doesn't walk the walk or talk the talk. And what I mean by that is you have Kite Baby, a popular baby, baby clothing company, which claims to put family at the forefront. But for its own employee, that mission just did not apply. So now consumers are weighing in on the controversy, calling for a boycott, with some moms even posting videos online of them throwing out the baby clothing in protest. Marissa Hughes of Texas was an employee at Kite Baby and adopted an infant son last month who's been hospitalized in the NICU nine hours away from her home in Dallas. So Hughes says her request to work remotely was denied and she was fired for not returning after her allotted two week maternity leave. Well, after she shared her story online, the backlash was swift. The company's CEO, Ying Lu, offered an apology but was criticized for sounding insincere, so she offered another apology. Basically just read it. It wasn't sincere. This was a terrible decision. I was insensitive, selfish. And the CEO also offered Hughes a new position with Kite Baby in addition to making policy changes. But the Texas mom says, you know what? It's just not appropriate to work for that company again. So for now, her son's fight isn't over. Hughes says he could be in the hospital until March. So she has a long road to recovery. I don't think she's too worried about returning to work. But gotta say, you're my, a baby company. My guess is there's some smart companies out there offering that woman a remote work uh -huh. job. I could have some options. Yeah. One million percent. And it's surprising that a CEO who deals with mothers and knows their, their tough times it would take her like you don't instantly say just be with your baby. Yeah, I mean, this is a learning lesson for companies out there. When you're branding like you're putting family at the forefront, you got to do it. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks, Aliana. Yeah.